Yo, what is up guys, Punkers here, and today I am back with another video for you guys, and today what we're going to be talking about is how to find good teammates. Where do you go? What do you do? I've actually been asked this a lot in the past couple of weeks by uh, subscribers of mine, and so today I figured I'd make a video telling you guys how, basically the easiest ways, in my opinion, to find people to play with or to find a solid team that you can have for a long period of time. A uh, shout out to everyone who's been asking me to make this video in the past couple of weeks. I hope I can uh, do a good job for you guys and help you find those good teammates, but guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, now what you're going to want to do first is create a Twitter account. If you don't already have one, Twitter is basically a crucial way that all competitive COD players interact and talk with each other. It's the way we find each other, we find teams, we find people to play with. Twitter is how it is all done. So if you guys don't already have one, make sure you go do that. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter if you guys have not done so either. Circa, or, or, or at Circa Punkers, I don't even know my own Twitter guys. Go follow me, it's also down in the description. That was a little shameless plug there. I am sorry. But yeah, if you don't already have a Twitter, it's going to be really hard for you to find people to play with. Because most people, if they're looking for two, looking for three, the easiest way to do that is by tweeting out. Now, there are several accounts that have been made to retweet people's tweets. They build up a large following, and then they advertise that they will retweet your tweets if you tweet at them. Uh, stuff like, oh, I need one to play a tournament tonight, or I need one for GBs, or I want a team of three for a long-term team. That kind of stuff. So you tweet that at them, and they'll retweet it. So I'm going to say a couple of these accounts right now, and put them on the screen so you guys can go check them out for yourselves. Uh, the first and probably most popular of all the accounts is Sean Abner, at Sean Abner. Um, very popular account. Really only retweet stuff, nothing else. Now what you'll see on his account is stuff like a uh, free agent looking for a team of three, or I need looking for one or two for GBs, that kind of stuff. So that's what you'll find there. Uh, so you can go, you can scroll through if that's what you like. Instead of posting, you can scroll through and look for something that kind of suits what you're looking for, or you can post it yourself. Now when you're posting, make sure you follow a couple of guidelines while you're doing it. So let's say you're a free agent looking for a team of three for a long-term team to practice and go to events, that kind of stuff. What you're gonna want to do is uh, write out your age, uh, what you're looking for, aka I'm looking for a team of three, where you live, your schedule, that not like your address, obviously, but like, oh, I, I'm central time. I live in Texas personally, so I'm central time. Uh, my schedule is I can play pretty much all day, uh, except when school starts, it's gonna be a little bit different. But you're gonna you're gonna want to put your schedule obviously so that people will know when uh, when you can play. That's very important. And so when you're doing this, you're gonna want to type all that out. Except, you know, Twitter only accepts a certain number of characters in each tweet, so you can't type out this entire paragraph because it's just not enough room. Especially if you're gonna want to tag all of these accounts in it. Now I'll get to some more accounts later. But uh, so a great way to get past this is to type all the info you want on a uh, on a notepad on your computer or on your phone uh, not like an actual physical notepad but just like notes on your computer or on your phone then you're gonna want to screenshot that and then that picture is gonna be a great way because you or a great thing to do because you can put that in the tweet and then tag everyone else and the tagging is basically the only thing in that picture or in, in the tweet besides that picture I'm getting so flustered right now but uh, so yeah the picture uh, is just gonna be there on the tweet people will be able to click on the picture and see all of your info there that way you can save a lot of character space on the tweet and be able to put the accounts you want in there some other accounts you're gonna want to tweet at uh, one of them is like about x 99 x ninjas or something like that it's also a very popular account for retweeting you can tweet at them uh, some other ones like cod aw eights and scrims that kind of stuff now a lot of these names sound misleading but basically you just have to look at the accounts and make sure you want to be tweeting at them now guys uh, I'm only going to give you a couple of those accounts, except that if you want to tag more, just look at what everyone else is doing. When you go to these accounts, you'll see people tagging a lot of other people as well, not just the account that you're looking at. So be sure to tag some of those other people if you have some more room. If you have like 10 more characters, you know, tag someone else. It can't hurt. And so those are the three main accounts I would recommend. Those are the ones I always kind of tweeted out when I was a lot smaller. And that's the way to start. Uh, I personally right now... Um, I use a, a program named TweetDeck. TweetDeck is a basically a new form of Twitter. 
and it's pretty much just Twitter, except it updates itself automatically, and it looks a lot nicer than normal Twitter, but it's still Twitter, you know, it's just called TweetDeck. And uh, you can just go to TweetDeck.com or something like that, and you just log in using your Twitter account, and it's a much nicer way to use Twitter, in my opinion. Now, TweetDeck, it allows you to add columns to your main page, and you won't really understand what I'm talking about until you go do it yourself. But uh, with these columns, you can say, okay, I want this column to be Sean Abner. So you have your main feed, aka who you follow, then you have your like notifications, then you have your your direct messages, then you have your Sean Abner. Now Sean Abner is just going to update automatically, so you can just have that on your screen 24-7, and it'll just be scrolling down. If people tweet at him, you'll be able to see what they're tweeting. So first of all, um, you can see what he tweets only. So you can say, okay, I only want to see what he retweets. Or you can say, all right, I want to see everything. And that way, it'll show you every single tweet that anyone ever tweets at Sean Abner. He doesn't have to retweet it. That's the best thing. So you don't have to worry about him missing something or anything like that. You can just watch it and see if that's what you want. Or if you're saying, oh, I want to find a team for you, UMG um, DC coming up in about a month. You just type in UMG DC and you add a column for any tweets that involve the words UMG DC. Or you can say team of three UMG DC or like free agent UMG DC and add columns for all these things. It's a great way to find these keywords that you're looking for within the tweets. Now guys, other than that, just kind of figure it out on your own. You know, that's how you got to do it. You got to, you know, feel around uh, find the best method for you, but I would definitely recommend 100% using Twitter. Twitter is going to be the easiest way and the, probably the most productive and quickest way to find good people to play with. Now, guys, I hope I helped you out in making this video. If you did, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a nice comment. I always like to read those comments. I hope I helped a couple of you guys out. They were asking for this video earlier in the week. But, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hope it's a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.